Hi, I'm George Bright, and today we're going to take the first steps in putting solar panels up on the roof. First thing we want to do is figure out how many panels we can fit on the roof and where they're going to go. The way we do that is by making a sketch, taking it up to the roof with a tape measure, and then seeing where all the dimensions are, looking from the ridge line to the gutters or the, uh, the eaves. And we want to measure out all these numbers so that we can see just how many panels we can fit on the roof. Now what I did here is I drew up a sketch on my computer, but you can do it by hand. It doesn't have to be that accurate. You just need a place to write down your numbers. But a really helpful way to start is to go to Google Maps. All you need to do is go to Google, type in your street address, click on the Maps button, and you can see a satellite view of your roof. Print that out, take it up onto the roof, and start taking measurements from there. Got my sketch, got my tape measure, time to go up on the roof. All right, six and a half feet. You know, it's really handy now that we're up on the roof to uh, have one of these large 50 foot tape measures. But if you don't have one, that's not a problem. All you gotta do is bring a piece of chalk up on the roof with you. You take your 10 foot tape measure, measure out your first 10 feet, put a chalk line, and then measure out from there. When you're surveying your roof, one of the things you want to keep an eye on is any potential obstructions, both like this heating vent here and like that satellite dish. Satellite dish is actually a bigger problem because it can cast a shadow across your panels, and that's not good. A number of cities here in California are starting to require that you leave a setback, an access lane, both from the ridge and from the side of the house, so that fire crews can get up on your roof in case there's an emergency. Make sure to check with your local authorities before you finalize your layout plan for your roof. When you're considering how to lay out your solar panels on the roof, you want to think about whether you want them to run along the eave, basically east-west, or whether you want them to run north-south from the ridge line down to the eave. Now, this makes a difference because usually the rafters run north-south. They run from the ridge line down to the eave, and that means you want the rails that you mount your solar panels on to run perpendicular to that. It helps you spread the load out across multiple rafters. Well, now that we're down off the roof, let's go inside and figure out just how many panels we can put up there. Well, I hope you're good at Tetris because that's our next step. We're going to take all the measurements we had on the roof, turn them into a high quality drawing, and then we're going to move around the solar panels until we can fit as many as possible into the most ideal locations on the roof. Now we're going to make a scale drawing of our roof and make sure to include any obstructions that are going to get in the way of a layout. Also include a fire lane if that's required in your jurisdiction. In general, panels are 66 inches by 40 inches. Lay out an array on your roof. Make sure to try it in uh, both directions to see what fits best with uh, your particular roof layout. Keep in mind that horizontal installations along the ridgeline do work better than the vertical installations. Once you've found an optimal layout pattern for your particular roof configuration, now it's time to figure out how many rails you need. The rails run parallel to the rows of panels. Then you want to find out where the rafters are underneath the rails. At this point, just a rough guess is good enough. You know that they're going to be placed every 16 or 24 inches. Once you know where the rafters are, you can start calculating how many feet you'll need. Consult your manufacturer's handbook, which will tell you how far apart they can be placed. All right, now that we've figured out how many panels we're putting on the roof and where they're going to go, it's time to put together a parts list, but we're going to leave that for the next episode.